السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ابولیشن از ویری امپارٹنٹ بفور دا ورشپ اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو ڈو اٹ پراپرلی اینڈ آفٹر کمپلیٹنگ آور ابولیشن ودو وی ہیو ٹو پلیس آور شہادہ فنگر ٹو ورڈز دا اسکائی اینڈ وی ہیو ٹو ریڈ اشہد اللہ الہ الا اللہ وحد لا شریق له و اشہد ان محمد عبده و رسوله سو دین دا پیراڈائز ڈورز آر اوپن ماشاء اللہ اینڈ دین آفٹر کمپلیٹنگ آور ایبولیشن وین وی اسٹارٹ ٹو رکا سلاد سلاد بفور آور Uh, you know the water that was uh, used to wash our uh, body organs in wudu so that water should not go dry before that we have to pray two rakats salah and that is called tahiyatul wudu this raka this two rakat is very important for us because اقبا بن عامر رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ ہی ریویلز دیٹ ہولی پرافٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیڈ اے پرسن ہو از ٹو پرے ٹو رکا آفٹر کمپلیٹنگ ہیز ودو وتھ فل کنسنٹریشن دیٹ پرسن گیٹ دا پلیس ان پیراڈائز وتھ دا بلیسنگز آف اللہ دس حدیث از ان مشکات اینڈ ان ادر حدیث that is revealed by abu huraira radhi allah taala anhu holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam when he went to seven heavens like miraj so in the miraj on nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was visiting paradise with jibril alaihi salam he heard the walking sound of someone in paradise jibril alaihi salam said this is the sound of walking of bilal radhi allah taala anhu you are slave and when holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam came and one day he asked bilal radhi allah taala anhu which one is the your favorite deed because i heard you are walking sound in paradise which one is the favorite deed of you bilal radhi allah taala anhu he said ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam when i take bath after taking bath i pray to raka nafal salah and when i do my wudu ablution then after completing ablution i have to pray to raka so this to raka after completing wudu after completing ablution is so much important that when a person is regular to do this one then the angels can see the can hear the walking sound of that person in paradise so paradise becomes the blessed place for that person so this is very important for us and we have to look after when uh, when there is time of uh, like sun rising time sun setting time or when sun at peak so these three times we should be take care because we are not to pray that type of worship in which sajda is there so at the time of sun rising we have to stay about 15 minute 20 minute then we have to pray after that same like that when uh, before sun setting so we have to wait when certain sun setting have been completed then we have to pray after that same like that when sun is at peak we have to stay at 10 15 minutes and after that we have to pray so these are the special instructions in our sharia we have to follow that one so this way the best thing which we got today to raka sala after completing wudu 
that makes us our entry in paradise. The first of all, I told you that when we do our wudu and completing our ablution, we have to make our fingers towards the sky, say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lahu, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. The doors of the paradise open for you. Then it is more certification that when you when you pray to raka after salah after wudu, that is salah tahiyatul wudu, you will get to the place in paradise with the blessings of Allah. And Holy Prophet sallallahu already has seen the situation in which he heard the walking sound of Bilal radiallahu ta'ala anhu in paradise. So this gives us certification that paradise becomes the place for that person who is ready to pray to Raka Salah after completing ablution, after completing Vadu. So we have to do it in order to get our place in paradise. So, but don't forget all compulsory prayers, all compulsory worship, so all compulsory salah, that is the first priority. And this nafal salah will authenticate your position, your place in paradise. We request Allah to bless paradise for us, a special place with your mercies. Amen.